Hey guys, it's Kay. I just got to the airport. I'm about to fill up the tanks in Little Red because today I'm flying to the beach. So come with me. Let's go. Okay guys, I'm really excited for this trip. I always love going to the beach and I didn't pack much because I only planned on being there for one night. I actually ended up staying for two, but we'll get into that later on. Originally, I was just gonna go ahead and go, but I decided to top off my tanks. So here I am just pulling Little Red out of the hangar, just like normal. It is pretty windy today, so I am glad that I filled up my tanks. If you didn't know, my airplane has two 25 gallon fuel tanks. I carry a total of 50 gallons of fuel on board, which means I can fly for roughly five hours hours. This trip is only supposed to take me about two hours. We'll see if that actually happens or not. This is just the grounding wire prevents a spark from occurring while I'm filling up those tanks. And you guys can clearly tell it is a little windy, but it was a really nice day, not gonna lie. Okay, I just finished filling my tanks. I spent $162.59 on 31.087 gallons. Sherland Tower, Cherokee 773, in November, I'd like to pick up IFR clearance to Brownsville, please. And Cherokee 773, in November, Sugarland Ground, and you are clear of the Brownsville Airport, Bravo, Romeo, Oscar, via Radar Vectors, during the Plasis, two departure Plasis, Victor 70, Corpus, direct Brownsville, maintain 2,000, expect 6,000 within one zero minutes of departure. Departure frequency, 123.8. Squawk, four, five, three, three. Okay, clear to Brownsville via the Palasage 2, Palashes, Victor 70, Corpus Christi, then direct. Climb maintain 2,000, expect 6,010 minutes after. Frequency 123.8, squawk 4533 for 773 in November. Okay, 3, November, read back is corrected. Sugarland Tower, Cherokee 773 in November, holding short of 35, ready for departure. All right, Cherokee 773 in November on departure. Let's fly runway heading, maintain 2,000, runway 35, clear for takeoff. 35, clear for takeoff, fly runway heading, maintain 2,003 in November, thanks. Good morning, Houston, Cherokee 773 in November, checking in at 6,000. Uh, Cherokee 773 in November, Houston Center, the Wharton Altimeter 3006. 3006, 3 in November, thank you. All right, so I'm at about 6,000 feet. I'm rocking an airspeed of roughly 130 miles per hour, indicated, not too shabby. I did have to put my sunshades in, but it's only 57 degrees up here, which I think is hilarious. I have a little less than two hours until I get to my destination, so, so far, so good. Pops came with me on this trip, guys, so you can just barely see his shoulder. I guess he's not in the mood to be on camera, so. Myself a little extra shade. There we go. <laughs> off into a headwind, did 180 degrees, and now we're in a headwind again. I'm sure you guys are probably wondering why I'm in the airplane, why I decided to go to Brownsville, aka South Padre Island, and honestly guys, it's just because I needed to get out of the house. I felt like doing a quick trip, I wanted to make some fresh content for all of you, and it's a pretty easy flight. It takes us about two hours, we'll spend the night, walk around the beach, maybe say hi to a few of you, and then I'll fly home tomorrow because I do have a few things I have to get done, unfortunately but it's nice to have a little airplane to be able to do trips like this. I think driving wise, it would take me a little less than seven hours, but don't quote me on that because I haven't driven it. <laughs> so even though Pops has been a total pit this morning, I am gonna ask him to use his phone. Can I use your phone for a sec? No. November 4, Golf Hotel, contact Houston Center, Please. 135 Thank you. Secondary phone. And I'm actually going to insert a clip right now of exactly what the panel looks like. You guys will also be able to see Four Flight, which is the app I use kind of just for traffic more than anything. But I will show you guys exactly what it looks like. And yes, I do have autopilot. A lot of you guys have been asking me about that. But here we are. Bless you. <laughs> Thanks. We've got four flight over here looking out for traffic, secondary radio, my GPS, there's the autopilot, and boom, there you have it. That's where you guys are. Hi. Winds are kind of brutal. It's 41 miles per hour heading 270. I'm currently going heading 216. It's definitely slowing me down. My ground speed's only 124 miles per hour, so 
Wish I was going a little bit faster, but hey, at least I'm building flight time, right? It's a little bit bumpy. Much better than it was climbing through, though. November 3, 8 November, amendment to your route advisor, copy. Ready to copy, 773 November. November 7, 7, 3, 8, November, clear direct, Etsy, Bravo, Echo, Tango, Zulu, Yankee, Victor 20, uh, Corpus Christi VOR, Charlie Romeo Papa, then direct the Brownsville Airport. Okay, clear direct to Betsy, Bravo, Echo, Zulu, Yankee, Victor 20, CRP, then direct Brownsville, 7, 7, 3, 8, November. You can see I just put in my brand new flight plan and I'm just making sure autopilot is flying it correctly. Then I'll go ahead and put it on my iPad because I use ForeFlight as well. November 3, 8 November, contact Houston Center 135.05. 135.05, take care of 3, 8 November. Yeah. Good morning, approach check 773 in November, is checking in 6000, direct to Ben C for 773 in November. Number 7738 November, Houston Center, Palacios Altimeter, uh, 3006. 3006, 3 November, thank you. This is where things get sad. Unfortunately, Pops decided to throw his stuff in the back seat and in doing so, unplugged the audio cable. So I don't have any more ATC communications. Let's get right to checking that weather and the landing, shall we? The winds at Brownsville are pretty brutal, but it's okay. We're getting ready to start our initial descent, so it's almost time to get back on the ground. Now I want you guys to pay very close attention. I did not speed this clip up at all, so it might be a little long, but I want you guys to be able to see just how windy it truly was. I landed with a pretty much a direct crosswind, which was pretty epic. And sadly, because I lost my voice recordings, I can't show you, but ATC even offered to move me to a different runway and I decided to accept the challenge. At the end of the day, I can always go around, but let me know what you think of the landing in the comments. Here we go. I finally made it. Overall, the landing was pretty good. It's definitely windy, but it was enjoyable. If you had fun watching this video, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you all see you soon. Bye.